Hi, and welcome to my channel, Modern Modis. Today I'm going to show you how I made this bell sleeve peplum top. Uh, the materials you'll need for this project will be in the description box. So, let's get started. Okay, so here's how I altered the pattern from my how to make patterns tracing your clothes video. Be sure to watch that video if you haven't because it's going to be the starting point for most of my tutorials. So I cut two fronts and two peplum fronts. One back and the peplum bottom, which is not pictured here. Two sleeves. Angle this wider for a wider bell sleeve. This step is optional, but I start by adding darts to the front. Fold the front in half like this to find the center. Pin in place. Now use a ruler to measure 7 inches up from the bottom. I marked with a pen. So if you decide to add darts, you may have to play around with how wide you want them according to your body. I went with 1 inch according to my bust to waist ratio. You're going to sew from the 7 inch top point down to wherever you decide to mark the width of your dart. Don't forget to backstitch. You should end up with a triangle like this. I did the same thing with the other front. I also added darts to the back by folding the two edges into the center and repeating the same steps. If I wanted my tab to fit looser, I could have gone with a half inch uh, width, but you know, that's all according to your preference. Now line up the shoulders of your front pieces and back and pin. I sewed with a straight stitch, then followed with a zigzag stitch. Open the top to attach the sleeve. Fold the sleeve in half to find the center and line up center with the shoulder seam and pin. Pin the sleeve to the rest of the armhole like this. I sewed this with a straight stitch and followed with a zigzag stitch. This is how it looks with both sleeves sewn.
Close the sides of your top by lining up the armpit seams and pinning down the sides and sleeve. Sew from armpit down the body and then armpit down the sleeve. Now line up your peplum fabric fronts and back and pin together right sides facing. After I sew these together, I'll hem the two ends as well like this. I follow this by hemming the bottom with a double fold tube. Then I sew a long straight stitch across the top, back stitching one end but not the other. Leave a long enough thread at the end you didn't back stitch together. Pull the top or bottom thread with one hand and the fabric with the other to gather like this. Gather until it's the length of the bottom of your top. Make sure your gather is evenly distributed. Now pin your gather peplum fabric to the top, right sides facing. Line up the seams. So, being careful not to ungather. Then fold down the peplum and top stitch. To make the button loops, I used this thin string elastic and tied my loops. I was short on time, so my loops are not even and they're lopsided. Make sure you take your time and tie these to be the same size. Also tie them to be as wide as your button head. I made mine a little too big. Tie as many loops as buttons you plan to use. I cut this strip of fabric, which is a stiffer linen fabric, to sew my loops onto. It's the length of my front from the neckline to the top of the peplum. Cut the button loops apart in excess elastic. So I marked where I wanted my first button loop to go and then one and three fourth inches apart for the rest of my button loops placement. If you have the patience, hand sew these on for a cleaner, neater finish. I sew the straight stitch up and down the center, then zigzag back and forth over it with my sewing machine. For the back lining, I snipped 1 4th inch into these two corners to be able to fold when hemming. Then I lined up the front linings and the back lining right sides facing and snipped into these corners to fold. Then I pinned them together. I sew the shoulders first with a straight and zigzag stitch, then a straight stitch down the center of the zigzag. Then I single hemmed the outer edge of the lining with a zigzag stitch. This is where those snips come in. Fold at the snips to hem the corners easily, like this. Then I follow with a straight stitch down the center of the zigzag stitch.
fold in the short ends and sew to him. Now attach your button loops by laying them on the right side of your top facing the wrong way and pin your lining on top right side facing the right side of your top. Pin around the entire neckline and down the other end of your top. So with a straight stitch. Take your time sewing over the loops. Cut off the excess fabric, but you need to make sure not to cut where you sewed your loops down, or your loops are going to slide right out, and we don't want that, so make sure you don't cut where you stitch down your loops. Cut snips into the corners of your lining seam. Triangles into your shoulder seams and snips all along the seam so the lining folds in neatly. Fold your lining under and sew. Then I sewed half inch from my edge stitch to secure the lining where the buttons would go. Sew on the buttons about half inch to 3 4 inch from the edge. Now hem your sleeves with a double fold. And this is how it all looks finished. Thanks for watching. I hope it was easy to follow uh, and that this tutorial was helpful. Uh, more is coming. I'm going to be making more tutorial sew along videos. So be sure to like and subscribe to follow along with my projects. I think that's it. Bye bye. <laughs>